Hello Chingos, welcome to this political, historical and sociological channel. Today I want to share with you how at least 400,000 gallons of radioactive water leaked from a Minnesota nuclear power plant in November, but officials only publicity disclosed the spill Thursday. Minnesota regulators shared the disconcerting development Thursday and say they have been monitoring the cleanup at Excel Energy's Monticello nuclear plant. While the energy company reported the leak of water containing tritium to state and federal authorities and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, last fall state officials say they wait to tell the public until they had more information. The four-month delay in announcing the leak to the public set off an alarm about public safety and transparency. However, industry experts say Friday that there was never treat to public health because the radioactive water never reached a threshold that will have required public notification. This is something we struggle with because there is a great deal of of concern about anything nuclear, said Victoria Midling, a spokeswoman of the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The concern is very, very unstable. So I want to make very clear the fact that the public of Minnesota, the people, the community near the plant is not in danger. Minnesota Pollution Control Agency spokesman Mitchell Rafferty said Thursday that officials knew one of the plant's monitoring will contain it tritium. November, but Excel had not yet identified the source of the leak and its location. Note that we have all the information on where the leak occurred, how much was released into the groundwater, and that the contaminated groundwater moved beyond the original location. We are sharing this information, Rafty said. Excel said the leak came from a pipe between two buildings. Tritium is a radioactive isopy of hydrogen that occurs naturally in the environment and it's a common byproduct of nuclear, of nuclear plant operations. It emits a weak form of beta radiation that does not travel very far and cannot penetrate human skin, according to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. The chemical only, pose, only poses a health risk to people who consume a large amount of tritium. According to Edwin Lyman, Director of Nuclear Energy Safety for the Union of Concerned Scientists. The risk is contained if the plume remains at the company site, which Excel Energy and Minnesota officials say is the case. Excel Energy took prompt action to contain the leak at the plant site, which does not pose a risk to the health and safety of the local community or the environment. The Minneapolis-based utility said in statement, Midling said nuclear, nuclear plants are not required to report all tritium leaks to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. However, Excel agreed to report certain leaks to the state, who in turn shares it with the Commission. On November 23, the Commission posted a notice about the leak on its website which is classified as non-urgent and said it was under investigation. No further notification was given to the public until Thursday. There is no way for the tritium to reach drinking water. Midling said, The power plant has groundwater monitoring wells and plant employees regularly track the progress of the contaminants by noting which well detect higher amounts. Excel say it has so far recovered about 25% of the spilled tritium, as inspectors from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission are also on site, monitoring the response. The company say it plans to install a permanent solution this spring. 
Radioactivity is the phenomenon of spontaneous emission of particles or waves from the unstable of the nuclei of some elements. There are three types of radioactive emissions, alpha, beta, and gamma. People who consume water with relatively high levels of radionuclides such as uranium and radon over a long period of time can develop serious health complications. Health problems include cancer, osteoporosis, anemia, bone growth, cataracts, compromised immune system, and liver and kidney disease. Pop particles cannot penetrate human skin but are very harmful when inhaled or swallowed. Consumption of alpha particles will devastate your internal or organs as well as severely damage your cells and DNA. Beta particles can penetrate human skin and cause skin burns, but they are most dangerous when swallowed or inhaled because they can damage cells and internal organs. Gamma rays are the most harmful externally as they can pass through the human body. They will easily damage cells in their path, damaging tissue and DNA. They are likely to ingest radionuclides by drinking contaminated water, water or eating food cleaned with contaminated water. Once you ingest radioactive material, the particles travel through your body while damaging your organs. The particles will ionize and destabilize the atoms in your body, damaging cells and chromosomes. The ionization process can kill cells or trigger unnatural cell reproduction. Do you think that the radioactive water could have leaked with the drinking water and they are hiding it? Why do you think this kind of problems are occurring of the part of the companies and state? Since there are several taking into account what happened in Ohio. I would like to know in the comments what do you think. If you like, I will love if you give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel to get more information and more of these videos. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye. Don't let me go.